Bucky says hello. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. And I did a poll on Facebook and this is the video that won. So today we're gonna to be doing what's in my toiletry bag. So we're going to take all of this, well, most of this, these bigger items will be put into some smaller containers and I'll tell you about that in a little while. But we're gonna be taking most of this and putting it into this toiletry bag. And this is a hanging toiletry bag with lots of pockets. It's really awesome. Um, so as I'm putting stuff in, I'll kind of talk about it. But this is the Lavi Vert, I guess I'm saying that right, toiletry bag. And I got this on Amazon. And it was about, I think, $19.99. And so a pretty good price for the size. And it's really good quality. So as I put this stuff in, I'll kind of talk you through all the pockets. It's got lots of storage. It's a really great bag. So... Before we start putting the stuff in the bag, I'm gonna kinda talk you through it. So the first thing I do is I start with my list. I am a list maker. I'm really organized. I am kind of a nerd. I love to make lists. I love to pack. I make lists for everything. So in this particular video, I'm going to be packing for a 10 day cruise. Actually, it's two five-day cruises, and we're doing them back-to-back, -back, so we're just calling it a 10-day cruise. So, I make a list. First things first. So, on my list, I'm really organized. It's really long. It's probably overkill, but I just really like to make sure I have everything because when you're on the cruise ship, you can't run out to Walmart if you forget something. So I try to think of every situation, everything that we may, may not need, and I pack it. So I won't go through the whole list, but this is my packing list for a 10 day cruise. It's four sheets. And on my packing list, I just break everything down into categories. Um, I have my clothes, Jeff's clothes um, for day, for evening. I like to try everything on. I write down my clothes, my shoes, my jewelry. I write down Jeff's clothes, shoes, socks, everything. Um, and then I have a category for miscellaneous, which is like pajamas and things like that. I have obviously our toiletry stuff on here. And I put it all in one bag, which I just showed you, but I do have on my list my list of toiletries and Jeff's list of toiletries and then I just kind of combine them all into one bag. Now I do have my makeup bag which is separate and I will be doing a little video on that and then we do have our medicine bag which is separate and I'll probably just throw that into the makeup bag video because it's little and then lastly I have electronics so everything on here is just nice and organized and I write everything down because if it's not on the list, it won't get packed. So I go into packing mode and I just pack it, mark it off, pack it, mark it off, mark it off, mark it off. So by the end, everything on here obviously is marked off. So that's my list. That's the first thing I start with. So I used my list actually today to go ahead and bring everything in here so I could show you every single thing that I pack into our toiletry bag. I wanted it to be really comprehensive. Um, now when I get to my hair stuff, I just kind of have a little sampling of what I put in there, but it'll kind of show you what I do or what I take with me. All right, so let's just kind of dive right in. So I've got some bigger bottles here and we don't take the bigger bottles. I do put them into smaller containers, but since this is a cruise, it's not like an airline where you have a certain ounce that you can take. I'm not really familiar with airline policies, but I know that I'm pretty sure it's like two ounces or something like that, something really small, which these little things that I'm gonna show you are two ounces. They're go tubes. They're amazing. They're awesome. They have a little suction cup on the back. Um, so these are airline compliant. And this is what we'll use, but we don't have to. I mean, if we wanted to, we could take all of the big bottles, put them in our toiletry bag and go. Because when you go on a cruise, it doesn't matter how much you have. You can take as much as you want, as little as you want. They don't care. 
but we just choose to take something a little bit smaller so that way we're not you know taking up all the room in our suitcase with toiletries all right so first things first let's start right here with hair stuff so um, this is the big bottle of shampoo that we have so what i do is i just make um, one go tube for jeff and one go tube for me and this is plenty of shampoo um, for 10 days so we'll each have one and if for some reason we do run out they do have shampoo in the cabin um, but i cannot use that i have dermatitis so i have to use some type of um, dry scalp shampoo so i always take this and if we're getting low then i'll go into jeff's and he'll use the cabin shampoo because it's nice like that but um usually we have plenty and so for a 10 day cruise i may pack two for me and one for jeff i don't know we'll kind of see as i go but usually i pack one each okay so we'll put this to the side because we're not going to pack that in the toiletry bag we are going to pack these so we'll just put these right here kind of off camera all right next thing is i need my hairspray again this is a really big uh, 11 ounce hairspray i normally take the 2.4 ounce um, from the travel section but i used the last of that when i went to disney world a couple of weeks ago um so for this video i'm going to use the big one but know that normally i use one that's about that size but there's plenty of room in this bag, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. For this, this is my body lotion. And I'm the only one that takes body lotion. Jeff doesn't use body lotion. Um, so I will take this and I'll put it in one of these. I'm actually, here's the one right there that I'm going to use for my lotion. So, big Avena body lotion, and I'll put it in there. We'll put that to the side. Um, I have curly hair and it's really dry sometimes because I have to use the head and shoulder shampoo. So I always have a spray conditioner. This is a huge bottle that 17 ounces that I got at TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. That's a really good deal. I just kind of happened upon it shoved in the back of a shelf. So anyways, I'm not going to take this huge bottle. What I'm going to do is put it in one of these little bitty squirt bottles. So this is called a fingertip sprayer and they're 97 cent at Walmart and it's a really fine mist. So you can get like the bigger spray bottles in the travel section, but I love these because they're really fine mist and so it doesn't spray a whole just gunk on my hair. So I'll take this and put it into one of these and that's plenty for 10 days. I'll actually only maybe use about three quarters of that. And then I just take another empty, this one's got a little bit of water in it, but I'll empty this out and pack this because, like I said, I have curly hair. So I just like to have some water. And again, this is one of those little fingertip sprayers from Walmart, 97 cent. And it's a really fine mist. So I just spray it all over my hair in the morning, kind of revives my curls, put a little bit of my curl cream on there. We're good to go. And then that's the next thing I'll pack. This is my curl cream. This is my favorite brand. This is what I use for dry shampoo. It's what I use for curl cream. It's called Not Your Mother's. This is the Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream. And then this is the um, Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. I actually like the Plump for Joy Mango one better, but I'm trying to use this one up. But I will actually be packing the purple one. It's purple and orange, and it's the same brand dry shampoo. It's just a different scent. All right, I'll take this wide tooth comb because again with curly hair, I don't use a brush, I just use a wide tooth comb. And I don't have to pack a brush or a comb or anything for Jeff because his hair is about this short. It's about a half an inch, um, so he doesn't have to comb it. Lucky him, but if for some reason he did, he can use this. He's got a long beard, so he can just, you know, go through there with it, which he does it, but he could. All right, next thing for my hair, I always take this microfiber beach, or not, not beach towel, hair towel. I have four of these. This is just the one I like to take on cruises just because it's like super tropical and cruisy. It's my flamingos and pineapple, and it's a turby twist. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it just goes on your hair and wraps up, and there you go. Your hair's all out of your face, really small, packs really light because it rolls up. And then you don't have to waste towels in the cabin 
and then you'll have more towels to use for other things, and showers and you know, whatever you need it for. So I always take one of those. All right, as far as hair accessories go, um, I always take some headbands. This one's a cute little flower headband. This one's just a plain gold and tan headband. And obviously I take other colors as needed. Um, I look at the outfits that I'm gonna take. I said earlier that I like to pick out my outfits and my jewelry and my shoes. Um, and if I wanna wear a headband, then I'll just pick out some matching headbands. I, this time, we'll be taking some hair flowers. I'll be taking several different colors. Um, my mom's going with us on this cruise. It's the, her very first cruise. So I'm really excited for that. So I got us these cute little hair flowers. And I've got 12 colors. And so we'll just be sharing them. And I found this um, pack on Amazon. It's just a little 2-inch hair flowers. And it was actually 24 because there's 12 colors, 2 of each. And they've already got little clips so you can just clip them in your hair and they're real cruisy looking so I'll take um, 12 colors of those and then lastly this is like the most important thing I love this thing it's a, a go tub it's the same brand as these go tubes um, they're awesome they're a little bit of an investment but they last forever they're made of silicone and it just is really easy to use these things so i really like them i prefer you don't have to use these they have dollar ones in like the target or walmart travel section but these are just the ones i prefer so i love this because you just squeeze it and it pops open um, and i always take this with me i've got a couple of these little hair claws i take one gold and one silver because i never know when i might just want to put my hair up i take a whole bunch of rubber bands even though my hair is curly, it's really thin, so I don't need those big rubber bands. I just need these little thin ones here. I actually got these in the children's section, but you know what? That's okay because I have thin hair, and they're cute, and they work. And then I also take a whole bunch of bobby pins because most of the time, especially on a cruise, I wear my hair up because it's windy, like so, so windy, especially when you're out on the open decks like playing mini golf or laying in a lounge chair or whatever you're doing you don't want your hair down because then it's just like all up in your face okay so I take all kinds of bobby pins and clips and things to put my hair back and then put it all in there and just pop it closed and throw that in the toiletry bag all right oh last nope not quite last thing um this is for Jeff he wears glasses um prescription glasses and prescription sunglasses so obviously they need to be cleaned this is just some lens cleaner from Lens Crafter and then they gave me this little uh, this little microfiber sheet for free uh, Jeff used it <laughs> it's so funny because it's got purses and high heel shoes and sunglasses on it but you know what it was free and it works so I packed both of those now I, I have this in a big bottle and I always take it in a big bottle but I will probably get another one of these and just put some of this in here since i've discovered these i just love it it takes up so much less room so i'm gonna take this and probably put it when i pack into one of these little bottles but for now we'll just leave it in there okay lint roller always important especially when you have a cat q-tips um you never know what you'll need those for we have got my razor and Jeff doesn't take a razor um, because he has a full beard, so he doesn't have to shave every day. Um, so what we do is like a couple of days before it's time for us to go, we'll, or I, I do his hair at home, <laughs> I will give his hair a nice short trim and I'll trim up his beard so we don't have to pack him a razor. He'll be perfectly fine by the end of those 10 days. Um, this is Jeff's body spray. Again, I put it in one of these little fingertip sprayers. We have got our toothbrushes with these little covers so um the toothbrushes are full-size toothbrushes and they're just the ultra soft toothbrushes um and then i got these little covers i think it was four for a dollar so we're using two and my parents will use the other two and then they just clip right on to the toothbrushes and keep them nice and sanitized chapstick this is the bite beauty agave lip mask obviously with our toothbrushes we each have our little travel toothpaste and then I don't wear 
I do wear glasses every now and then, but I 99% of the time wear contacts. So I always take extra contacts, a little contact case, and contact solution because you never know when your contact might pop out. You don't want to be half blind while you're out in the middle of the ocean. All right, speaking of being in the middle of the ocean, the sun is super, super strong, way stronger than you would think. So we always take sunscreen. This is 30, we also take 50. Um, I prefer the 50, Jeff prefers the 30, um, but we'll both use both of them, just depending on you know where we are that day. You know, If we're just going out for a little while, if we're going to go to the beach, we'll use the stronger. So we both use both. Um, I take my cuticle oil because my cuticles are really, really dry and I have to use this every morning and every night. This is a very important little bottle. This is called Motion Ease, and it is an essential oil blend for motion sickness. So what you do is you just put some drops on your finger and put it behind your ears a couple of times a day. Jeff cannot take bonine or dramamine because he's allergic to meclizine, which is in those medicines is the main ingredient and he can't take it. So we had to get crafty because we cruise a lot. Uh, so we found this Motion Ease at Walmart for less than $5 and it works amazing. Um, we've never gotten sick on a cruise, knock on wood or knock on marble. Um, <laughs> so we use this every time. We usually take a couple of bottles with us. It's kind of strong. It doesn't smell the best. It kind of smells a little bit medicinal. Um, I've kind of learned to like that scent because it I equate it with it keeping me not sick, but um, just know if you get this, it is very strong. Okay, my spray, um, I can either take a big bottle and put some into here, or I do have this little travel bottle from Bath & Body Works that I've had forever. I mean, I also have some travel lotion that matches it, along with some travel body wash that matches it. Um, so I can take just this, but for 10 days, I'm scared this won't be enough. So I'm also going to take my Vino body wash that matches the lotion I showed you earlier. But I'm not going to take this big bottle. I'm going to put some in the small go tube and just take that. So. And then Jeff's body wash. Um, this is vanilla birch from Bath and Body Works. This smells awesome. It sounds kind of girly, but it smells really masculine. I really, really like this one. It's one of his favorites. And so again, we'll take some body wash from here and put it in one of the small go tubes. Deodorant. You don't want to stink. We've got Gold Bond just in case you get like a little chafed or a little sweaty. You need that. And we also, I don't have any right now, I need to get some. We also take Body Glide, which is an anti chafing stick. And I'm going to tell you what, it is a lifesaver. If you have, like, if your thighs rub together or if you get, um, kind of chafe like under your arms or anything, Body Glide's awesome. It's great. We get ours from Academy Sports. Um, you can get it from like a tennis shoe shop. You can order it on Amazon. Um, we just get ours from Academy because we have one right down the road. All right, um, as far as face stuff goes, I take a pack of face wipes. It's like the little face wash wipes. Also take my makeup eraser cloth. This thing is pretty cool. I got these knockoff ones on Amazon. They were like two for $20. And um, you just wet it with warm water and it takes your makeup off. And then you have an exfoliating side. This thing is awesome. I do not know how it works. It is chemical free. This thing is like a magic eraser for your face. It's awesome. And then I've got my face cream for day, which has SPF in it. And then my face cream for night, which does not has it, have SPF. And this is just L'Oreal. I really like this. Also, this day cream is an awesome makeup primer. It's great. So it works better than any actual makeup primer I've ever bought. So just a little tip for you. And then I just take this little um, tube of eye cream. I got this for free in an Ipsy bag one month. Um, it actually works really well. And then because I'm like an old lady at heart, I always take my Icy Hot. I have neck issues and back issues, and I probably go through um, one of these every month or two. So I use a lot of Icy Hot, so I always make sure to take that with me. So oh, that is everything that we pack into our toiletry bag. So let's just put it in there real quick. 
All right, so real quick before I start putting stuff in there, I just want to show you this bag. Again, it's that La Vivere, 20 bucks, $19.99 from Amazon. It's got a zipper pocket here. It's got some places to hold like a razor or toothbrushes, makeup brushes if you're using it for a makeup bag, which I also do use one of these for a makeup bag. Oh, you've got some pockets here, another pocket here. You have got a zipper pocket here. You've got a little pocket here. You've got two zipper pockets on each side. This thing holds a ton. All right, so let me pack this up real quick. And when I'm packing my toiletry bag, like I'll put stuff in and then I'll take it out and put it somewhere else. You just kind of have to put it in there where it fits. So let's go. All right. Oh, and I forgot to mention one important thing. These are super important when you're packing your toiletry bag. These are nothing fancy. They're both just the great value brand, but it's big Ziplocs and small Ziplocs. I'm not going to put everything in Ziplocs for this video, but everything that goes in my toiletry bag, if it might leak, goes in either a big Ziploc or a small Ziploc. So make sure you have those handy. Just make sure you have a lot of them because you'll go through a lot. Oh, and just a little tip, I always write on the outside with a Sharpie marker what was in it so that way when I go to pack at the end of our vacation, I'll know what goes where. All right, so let's get this done. screen so and normally everything would fit but I was just kind of messily throwing it in there just to kind of show you that it will all fit um, so normally this would fit and if I squeeze this probably would fit um, so anyway so you can see how much this toiletry bag holds this thing is huge this is mine and Jeff's toiletries for 10 whole days um, this is everything we'll need plus probably some extra stuff that we might not need but i would rather be safe than sorry when i'm packing so this is everything so anyways that is everything that's in our toiletry bag i know this video has been so long thank you if you stuck around this long um again this is for a 10 day cruise so if you're going on a shorter vacation obviously you wouldn't need this much if you're going on a land vacation there's a couple things you could leave out um like you wouldn't need the motion sickness medicine and things like that so anyways i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it this was my very first sit down video for this youtube channel and i really enjoyed it i've been wanting to do this for quite some time so i'm so excited that i finally did it finally took that leap and if you liked it just give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe i've got a lot more videos planned we've got a back-to-back -back cruise um like i said 10 days in november um so i'm gonna be doing what's in my makeup bag i'm gonna be doing a couple of packing videos and then obviously we're gonna vlog our cruise so go ahead and subscribe so you can make sure to see all those fun videos that we're gonna be doing soon all right thank you so much and i will talk to you soon bye, bye.